In this video, I'll explain how to extract a single column from a data frame as data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line five of code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our data frame has been returned to the RStudio console. And as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to extract only the first column of our data frame, which is called x1. Then we can apply the dollar operator, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm first specifying the name of our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. Then I'm using the dollar operator, and then I'm specifying the column that I want to extract. So in this case, the column that I want to extract is called x1. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom that the values of our column x1 have been returned. However, you can also see that the values of this column have been returned as vector object. Another alternative on how to extract these values is shown in line nine of the code. So in these lines, I'm using square brackets and a comma to extract the first index position of our data set. So in our case, the column x1. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that exactly the same values are returned from our data frame. However, again, these values have been converted to a vector object. An alternative on how to extract those values as a data frame is shown in line 11 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm again using square brackets. However, this time I'm not specifying a comma in front of the index position of our column. So if you run line 11 of the code, our values are returned once again. However, this time the data frame structure is kept. So this time we have returned a data frame with only one column to the RStudio console. An alternative to that is shown in line 13 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm again using square brackets to subset our data. This time I'm also using a comma. Then I'm specifying the index position of the column that I want to select. And then in addition to that, I'm specifying the drop argument to be equal to false. So if you run line 13 of the code, again, a data frame containing only one column is returned to the RStudio console. So in this video, I have explained how to extract a single column from a data frame as data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.